Now imagine these rafters, this whole assembly is sloping down and up, right? We're cutting the partnership the between Middlebury, Middlebury College and Habitat for Humanity in Addison County came about when Ashley Cadwell, who's an alum of Middlebury, had this idea for Middlebury College architecture students designing the houses that the local chapter of Habitat for Humanity would build. Who's doing foundation? You guys were. So that's the interior. It sounded really intriguing and appealing because, of course, it's a chance for our students to have a real world experience and to go through the whole process that an actual architect experiences. What we want to look at is in terms of dimensions and getting the backup turnaround that's required by the town, how do we lay that out? The one caveat that I put on the potential partnership was that it had to be a good design experience for the students. It couldn't just be the easiest thing to build. It in fact had to engage them in a thorough and fun and, and inventive design process. And Habitat, uh, to their credit, they were game and they agreed to that. And so I sat down and crafted the best way to lay out the courses and structure them in a series or a sequence that would allow us to take the process all the way through. These are all the different things we've been researching and we have oh, okay. the sizing and the ones that we know cost. So there is bread, yeah. So we just need to organize it more, but we've been... When we first began the project, I think knowing that it was a real world project drove the whole design process. So when we started out, we did propose individual approaches, but it quickly became clear that no you know, personal agenda or design idea could be decided. It all kind of came out of what the site was asking for and how these families would occupy these homes. It was clear that this isn't just a class for a grade and the difference between you know, forgetting to put in a stud in a wall is whether the house is built or not. It's not the difference between an A and a B. A lot of people would ask me about the class and say, you know, like, how you graded? You don't really have any assignments. You don't have to worry about due dates, which I, I would always struggle to respond to them and say, it's not like that. It's like we have this common goal and none of us really know how to get there. Uh, and we're all kind of figuring it out as, you know, undergraduate architecture students and learning along the way. I realized when I was planning out the design process in the studios that I really had no choice but to approach it as I would approach a design project in my private practice, except the big difference was instead of one or two of us in the office working on it, I had 14 students plus myself. This assembly here has a high drying potential. This thing has nothing between it and some very dry outdoor air. I think in typical studios, we never get past just the design process. So having to think about codes and permitting was obviously very challenging, especially in the second semester, doing more of the technical work. Yes. All right, it's just this it's whole thing, thing has to yeah. slide up here, mm -hmm. which means there's not any room for the parking. Every possible challenge on a project, I think, cropped up during this one. And while difficult in the moment, it was also an incredible opportunity for the students to get the full experience. Certainly one of the more challenging aspects of the process was meeting with the Development Review Board at the end of the spring term. They're actually the body that has the authority to approve or not approve. It's not uncommon to not get through DRB on the first pass, and we didn't, in part because we had some challenges with the size of the lot. The town was definitely a little surprised when we proposed to have detached homes, but I think they always admired our goal of having two families being able to be located close to downtown and to affordable homes. There was a little bit of drama there because we were actually a couple thousand square feet short. We had to make sure we complied with the zoning requirements for being able to build two houses on one lot. And over the course of the summer, we were able to negotiate with the landowner to our west who agreed to convey enough square footage to the lot to enable it to become as of right compliant and so then that set us up to go back to the DRB in the fall semester. One of the things that was kind of eye-opening for me was to see just how many hoops we had to jump through and as you know, an architecture student kind of understanding you know how complex it really is to get a lot of things done. So uh, one of the things that had been mentioned in the spring was the holding the front street edge um, and this really has to change the percentage you last, but I just want to reiterate that the residence A will be holding uh, that front street edge as it's set by the neighbors to the north and the south. 
when we finished in the evening, we didn't know what their ruling was. So we had to wait several hours. And that was a point in the project where we had to kind of reconcile the fact that a lot of the work we did might not actually be completed or, or reach its, its final phase. And, and that was just a, a fact of the project. Next item is the application by Habitat for Humanity, Madison County. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? All ayes. Motion is carried. Other business? The Development Review Board was a real board with real authority, so for the students to be able to go through that and make a convincing case, you know, that, that was an incredible opportunity. I just want to say I think this is such a win-win-win. You know, for Habitat, uh, we're getting diligent, thoughtful, and appropriately progressive design of affordable housing in Addison County, which is fantastic. So I just want to thank the students uh, for your great energy and participation. And Dora and family, I hope you enjoy your house for many years to come. Broken. To be able to participate in the schematic design and in the design development and in creating the, the actual construction documents and then actually getting to have the hands-on experience of building it is just so, so rare for so many students. The most rewarding part of this project for me was getting a chance to meet more locals in the community and also make a project that the community would want. On budget, on time, and to the satisfaction of the client and the user and to do something sensitive for the environment in the process. It's like no opportunity I know of and I'm really excited and looking forward to being part of it into the future.